Hello and welcome to Group 19's social media project for Marketing 221. We are, I am Eric Talley. I'm Brittany Jones. I'm Allison Terendi. And I'm Gianna DeGrappa. All right, we're going to get started with our social media project for Umpires Media. So, let's take a look. So the company overview for Umpires Media is pretty one that's pretty simple. They are a company that is looking to enlighten and enhance the viewing experience of sports for the general public with the use of app integration and other fun and creative opportunities. Also at baseball games, they'll be allowed to play games with fans to enlighten them on the rules and intricacies of baseball and hoping to eventually expand to other sports. So, the objectives and goals for Umpires Media. There's quite a few. First off, Umpires Media wants to enlighten the general public of what the company wants as a message and also the rules of the sport that they're going for, which right now is baseball and eventually looking to go into other sports. Um, with the use of the app and everything, they are going to be able to streamline this and make it easy and fun for people to follow along and learn the rules and everything. And the goal for Umpires Media is to enlighten the general public, like I said earlier, but also to use social media integration like Twitter and Facebook to help big rule calls for major games in baseball and eventually with football, soccer, basketball, and other sports where if a blown call is made, they can explain why it was a blown call and also have a video to go along with it, what the correct call should have been, using live Twitter updates and live Facebook statuses and using video, YouTube as a video medium. They can just put all these together and make a perfectly integrated social media experience for the users using the app and using Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. Also, like I keep mentioning, the final goal for Empire's Media will be to move into other sports. Getting started with baseball is a good place to start because baseball is very intricate and not a lot of people know the intricacies of baseball. So moving into other sports come down the road when they're willing to. Sports like basketball and football will be a more seamless transition and it will become a bigger market for them. Becoming the place to go to for rules and regulations, fact checking, and video watching to make sure that everything is correct and you know all that you can about the sport. Those are the objectives and goals for Empire's Media. Next we're going to get into the strengths and weaknesses and the situational analysis for Empire's Media. Okay, so in order to come up with an adequate um, Social media plan, we did a SWOT analysis and we obtained the following. Um, the strengths of Empire's Media were um, they're one of like the only providers of a baseball type rule book application. Um, so they have little competition and it's also a free application. Um, some weaknesses were it only caters to baseball lovers and it's only baseball rules at this point. Um, it's only available through iPhones, so hopefully they're going to expand to other phone providers. And it also discourages people who are non-tech savvy because it is an application for a phone. Um, the opportunities is it can be expanded to different sports. Um, like was said, it can be expanded to soccer, football, wrestling, anything. Um, also, I'd like to see it be used worldwide instead of just nationwide. Um, and available to other mobile users, as I said before. And some of the uh, threats could be um, glitches or technological issues just with the app itself. Um, and next we're going to get into customer segmentation, target market, and positioning analysis. Okay, for our customer segmentation, we have it um, segmented into really two groups. One of them being the younger generation, normally ages 18 to 34, 
in the nation right now. Hopefully they expand worldwide. But um, this segment will be looking to learn or refresh your memory on the rules of the sport. Right now it's just baseball. And also our other segment would be officials or coaches of the sport, just in case there are any um, if there's any confusion on rules during the game. Um, for our target market though, we would um, focus mainly on the younger generation because they are tech savvy and they would be more um, interested in using the app rather than an older generation who is not used to um, always going to their phone to gain information. Um, they would, um, this also is a generation that likes to have the knowledge right at the palm of their hand, so it would be um, more appealing to them. Um, for our positioning analysis, um, we position our, our umpire's media positions itself as a user-friendly and easy way to enlighten the general public of the rules of all the major sports, or what they hope to all the major sports right now, just baseball. Um, they would use things such as live action following of the games, um, and also, um, they would also greatly lower the confusion of some calls and rules made right at the moment in the game. Um, so they would hope just to position themselves as the first choice for getting information in the sports world. And now we will go to Brittany with the marketing strategy. All right, so social media sites are obviously an excellent way for umpires media to create excitement and engage within their target audience. Facebook has over 800 million viewers, or 800, 800 million, and Twitter has over 600 million active users, and it gives companies a form for interacting with their fans. Through these free forums, Empire's Media can post content and information about their app, events, news, and promotions, and it will be readily available to the public. So I'm just gonna do a quick overview of everything that would be included in our marketing strategy. So obviously, Empire's Media is looking to broaden their audience by introducing an app that features a complete rule set of a variety of sports. It is accessible across a wide range of delivery channels and provides the user with a state-of-the-art information management system. Our strategy is creating an, an interactive Facebook and Twitter page that help helps Empire Media connect with their audience and engage in conversation. So we're going to be targeting men and women between the age of 18 and 34 who are considered active sports fans. They enjoy attending sports events and watching them on TV, and they reside in the United States. So throughout the year, Empire's Media can conduct various Twitter and Facebook promotions and interactions with their target, target audience, such as contests, trivias, giveaways, clear confusion, feature good, bad call of the week, feature bio about the umpires, and a grading scale of umpires based on performance. So now I'm going to be briefly talk about each one of those. So for contests, this is a great way to engage in competition within their target audience. An idea could be something along the lines of the first person to respond to the following Facebook or Twitter pro posts will receive like a $10 coupon to see like a local baseball game or any other local sporting events. So trivia is also a good way to, um, for the audience to learn about relevant facts, people, rules, etc. This could um, include a game of trivia on Facebook and Twitter, and the first person to answer all of the questions correctly will receive like a free food voucher at a local stadium or something along those lines. Giveaways, um, this is something that can be included in a variety of other promotions as well. Uh, umpires Media can give away free t-shirts and lanyards. Uh, people love getting free stuff, and it's a great way for Umpires Media to get their name and brand out there. So clear confusion. This is a promotion that can be used while a game is happening, whether it's on TV or physically at a sporting event. So umpires media will post an explanation as to why the umpire made a certain call. And this can be like very interactive with the audience because they can ask questions and voice their confusion and their concerns. So the feature good, bad call of the week. This is something that can be done throughout the baseball or sporting season. Every week, um, they, you guys can provide either a good or bad call and give an explanation as to why the umpire made a bad call. You can show like, a video or picture, so this is a good way to kind of engage in interaction. Finally, the feature bio of the umpires. This is could be a different umpire each week, and it will be about a, like a bio about an umpire, about their past experiences, like fun facts, and much more. So it's just a great way to know the umpires. But finally, the grading scale of umpires based on performance. This can be like a report card, 
and it could be after each game you could grade the umpire, grade the referee on how they did based on their performance. So basically since Facebook and Twitter are free social media sites, um, the budget can be relatively inexpensive. We will probably um, pay for advertising, however, um, via banner ads and homepage desktop ads on the side. So, and then cost of labor and cost of giveaway items will also be taken into consideration. So after a couple months of introducing these promotions into Facebook and Twitter, um, we will review the success of the campaign and make any necessary changes. So that is the marketing strategy. So in conclusion, through our social media strategy, we hope to expand on umpires media and to enlighten the general public on what they do and how their app works. And hopefully um, a more broad goal is to start expanding into other sports like soccer or football or basketball and just hope to become the, for umpires media to become the um, first choice for any type of sports knowledge. Once again for Group 19, I'm Eric. I'm Brittany. I'm Allison. And I'm Gianna. Thank you for listening.